What's going on everyone? Jack here from Half Chrome and today I want to walk through how this Mini 5 Pro Go Fly app works. I've already got it up in the air. I'm actually doing a battery test. We're going to see how long this thing actually flies. But uh, while I'm doing that, I thought it'd be great to just kind of walk through the app. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know that's inside this app and how this thing works. So first, uh, I'm flying on the RC2. It doesn't matter. The controls are the same whether you fly on this or the RCN3. I'm gonna tap go fly and you can see uh, I'm already up in the air. Now let's start by just kind of looking at the layout of the screen. In the lower left hand corner, I have uh, my map. I can make that smaller by tapping the lower left hand corner, kind of make it go away. And then it just kind of, you can see I'm 56 feet uh, up from the ground and 67 feet away. I can also just kind of tap that corner and make it uh, just kind of a compass if I wanted to. And I can even peek into, by tapping in the corners, peek into the different obstacle avoidance cameras. So if I want to see, uh, you know, what's on the left side of the drone or the right side of the drone or the back of the drone, pretty cool just by tapping those there. So uh, I can look at that downward facing camera as well. So cool stuff. Um, let's just go ahead and leave it on the compass. Now, other things that you'll kind of note, you can see my battery in the upper right hand corner, 81%. I got 22 minutes of flight ish. It's obviously changing as I fly, uh, RC strength to the right of that. My obstacle voice is on. I have 30 satellites, the three dots. That's my uh, menu, which I'll get into in a second. Then I have my shutter button to, to uh, take video or pictures right now. I'm in video mode. If I tap that little film, I can change the mode. I've got photo, I've got video, I've got master shots, which is awesome. I do love a good master shot. Quick shots, hyperlapse, pano, uh, great options there. I got auto exposure bracketing three or five or seven. That's cool. Uh, burst photos, I can take a time shot. All sorts of really good stuff right there. Uh, if I look at my quick shots, I've got a bunch of really cool quick shots, uh, including this new rotate quick shot, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and try some of these out. Uh, let's get my drone out uh, over the water. All right, so we're gonna do the rotate shot here. And I'm just gonna, I said rotate, I can change some of the parameters uh, if I want by tapping on that arrow. Uh, but I'm going to leave them how they are just so you can see. And then I click Two, forward one. and the drone will fly. It's going to level out the gimbal here and then it's going to rotate a full 180 degrees while it's flying. You can do some really cool things with this. Um, that just looks so cool. Um, and this does, of course, shoot native 9x16 as well. So lots of really cool things up now we're gonna rotate all the way back okay so let's look at some of the other some of the other quick shots uh, that we've got we've got uh, droney we've got rocket we've got circle we've got helix we've got boomerang we've got asteroids so lots of really fun quick shots that you can use something else that's nice you can see that h on the screen there that is where i took off that's my home point so um you know if you kind of get lost it's easier to uh, fly back home. So let's go back into uh, video mode and let's take a look at some of the stuff in the lower right hand corner. If I want to uh, go ahead and do some manual shots, I tap in the lower right hand corner, I turn on pro mode and then I can adjust my ISO, I can adjust my shutter, I can adjust my exposure value. There's lots of really cool things. I can go uh, normal, I, I just tap that other uh, slider icon I can go normal HDL or D log M right from there. I've got 4k I can do 60 down to 24 frames a second. I can do 1080p right there up to 60 frames a second Now if I want to shoot uh, 4k 120 I can but that's in slow-mo mode, right? So let's just go back to 4k actually I prefer 4k 30 to be honest. That's it just is a smaller video size um, I tend to shoot and you can see I've got 42 gigs of storage on this thing, which is awesome. Let's go to the 
photos I just want to show you you can change the megapixels really pretty easily here so now I'm oops let's do photo single all right we're gonna go back into auto mode by tapping that camera button in the lower right hand corner and I can tap the resolution I go from 12 megapixels to 50 megapixels or and uh, 4 by 3 to 16 by 9 all right so let's go into the video menu actually let's just go into the controls here so starting with that first one we've got safety obstacle avoidance I can do bypass I can do brake I can turn it off uh, I like to leave it on bypass and then you have two options normal and nifty normal just kind of slowly moves around the objects nifty gets a little bit more aggressive but it's not quite as safe we've got a display radar map um, so you can see where the obstacles are we got return to home now it has a nice return to home feature which i will uh, which it will just activate and it's going to come home um, you can preset that if you want you can change your return to home altitude definitely make sure you look into that got your home point you can update it uh, if you're moving we've got uh, augmented reality options here that's cool uh, max altitude we can change that max distance right now we have no limit all right we can calibrate our compass unfold arm to power on I love that feature that's great um, and fold arms to power off just makes getting this thing up in the air even faster which is fantastic we got that uh, auxiliary LED it set you can set it on off or auto when it gets dark uh, if we're in geo zones we can unlock them we can use find my drones we have advanced safety right so if you're flying inside I always go into here and I just kind of click hover instead of return to home now let's take a look at the control right I'm in the United States so of course we use the stupid Imperial system so I'm there display zoom standard gain an expo tuning so if you really want to fine-tune the controls focus track settings uh, this is kind of cool um, you can set them for people and vehicles and how you want it to be uh, for people even for cycling uh, what the inner circle radius outer circle radius is so lots of customization I was uh, doing some tracking this morning uh, we'll take a look at that uh, in a different video if you need to calibrate the gimbal mode 2 uh, button customization this is great um, so you can change what these buttons on the back do so uh, you can see my c1 button right now uh, tilts the gimbal straight up and straight down and my c2 rotates for horizontal video now the right dial is my zoom in and zoom out so if i hold my c1 and do the right dial i can roll the gimbal that's cool so if I want to roll the gimbal manually, I can go 45 degrees in one direction, and I can go 180 degrees in the other. So that's kind of spectacular. So very cool. Uh, and when you're flying and doing that, oh, that gets a little bit, a little bit trippy. Okay and we just tap it to get it back to center so you can customize these if you want camera so we got some camera settings here format mp4 we got normal hdl d log m um, i'm gonna record in h265 video subtitles uh you may want to turn that on that just allows you to kind of see some of these parameters as video subtitles uh, histogram if you want it overexposure warning uh, so if you want the zebra lines you can turn that on you can kind of see oh everything is overexposed right now because we got a very bright day today um, let's turn that off frame guide uh, so if you want to set up different shots so maybe 9 by 16 stuff like that then we've got the transmission category and a uh, little information about your drone so I'm flying on uh, firmware 1.00.0300 okay so that's a lot of the info I still have half my battery uh, we've been doing this for about 11 12 minutes or so all right so let's take a look at some of the other things that we can do here uh, let's bring the drone back All right.
right. So I can, if I want to, I can select a subject and then uh, move into active track, spotlight, or point of interest. Let's just go active track and now it is tracking me, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and make that stop. Uh, fantastic that it can do that. All right, we've got waypoints up here. Uh, if we want to add waypoints and just to kind of go into focus track, another way to do that by tapping the screen. So lots of different information and things we've got here with the drone. So let's talk about the remote here itself. Um, and in the middle is normal mode. Uh, it flies pretty fast still. C is cinematic mode. It'll fly slower and smoother. And then S is sport mode. Obstacle sensing unavailable. You heard, fly with caution. You heard that. It turns off your obstacle avoidance. Uh, let's just see how fast it will go. We'll do some speed runs over the pond here. 26, 27. All right, we'll turn it around, get a full run. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-three. All right, so that seems to be roughly the top speed, which is fine. Then of course we've got these dials on the back. Uh, this one with my left finger here moves the camera up and down. And then this one here zooms in and zooms out. So uh, that's kind of all you really need to know other than you've got this return to home button here, with this H. Um, you're gonna do that, uh, you're gonna hold that down to return home or it's a pause button. So if you're doing a flight mode, an orbit or something, it gets out of control or you're not sure, just tap that and it will stop that and um, do what it needs to do. I'm gonna put myself back into normal mode. And of course we have these buttons on the top. This is to record, um, this is to take a photo. So um, then these course on the back are customized, which we already walked through. So I hope this walkthrough was helpful um, if you have questions, you want to know more about this Mini 5 Pro, hit me up. Uh, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.